The doors to the UMass Lowell Athletic Hall of Fame swung wide open Tuesday night, and former Riverhawk basketball great, a former Division II National Player of the Year, Ilad Inbar, a member of the class of 2004, gracefully joined a very select group of extraordinarily talented student athletes. During his four years at Lowell, Ilad Inbar was one of our top athletes and one of our top students. He was an excellent student. He is perhaps the most decorated basketball player in school history. He may also have been the finest clutch performer I've seen, and I've been watching basketball here for 23 years. Elad was the catalyst in transforming what at the time was a good basketball team into a championship team that became recognized on a national level. Under head coach Ken Bear, and with Elad Inbar leading the way, the men's basketball team enjoyed the most successful four-year run in school history, achieving a record of 100 wins and just 27 losses. The team qualified for the NCAA tournament all four of Elad's years. They captured back-to-back -back Northeast 10 Conference and NCAA Northeast Regional Championships, both on this court. Halad set a school record for points in a career with 2,099, and he captured all the honors you would expect. All conference three times, all New England, all American twice, and as a senior, he became the first ever Northeast 10 Conference player and the only UMass Lowell player ever to be selected as the National Division II Player of the Year. Please welcome for induction into the Athletic Hall of Fame a truly special student and athlete a lot in bar. Wow, thank you. This would be much more easier for me if just somebody put down the basket and we can just play. First of all, I want to uh, wanna correct uh, uh, Dana because I think the catalyst was uh, Coach Bear. Uh, we were a good team, but Coach Bear made us uh, a lot better than we actually were. Regarding the, 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 the photos that you just saw, maybe the focus uh, was on me and uh, focus is on me today, but uh, it wasn't just me out there. It was uh, Dana Jones, James White, uh, Stacey Moreni, all them other guys. I couldn't do, I couldn't do it without them, especially Stacey Moreni. Uh, I never told this to anybody, but uh, uh, my senior year, the first uh, three, two or three games, I think, Stacey was uh, the leading scorer in those games, leading rebounder, and I, I, it just made me better. I couldn't, I couldn't have that. Um, I want to thank everybody, uh, Dana, uh, uh, John, uh, for running a great program here in, uh, in uh, law. It, it was a great decision on, on my end uh, coming here. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, it was uh, some of the best years of my life. Thank you. Here you are, UMass Lowell Athletic Hall of Fame. Were you surprised? Had you ever thought about it? I tell you, when I was surprised, uh, it was the, the, my senior year after uh, the season ended, and uh, I was just uh, hanging around my house, and Coach Bear called me, and uh, he said, um, I drove over to your place, can you come down for a sec? I need to talk to you. The season was over, so I didn't even have any clue about what, what he wanted to talk to me about. And he tells me uh, that, that I got elected as player of the year for the nation. And that was very surprising for me. I took a step back. I didn't believe him for a second. It was very, 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 I was very excited. And that was surprising. And so the Hall of Fame, I, I kind of expected it. I, I appreciate it very much. And I really wanted it. Well, talk about that, for being the Division II National Player of the Year. When you're playing, and, and I watched you, and you made things look easy, is there a moment where it all sinks in that you say, I, I am good at this. I'm very good at what I do. I used to tell the guys when I played, you know, kind of trash talk to the guys, to my guys. I never trash talk to the opponents. When we played in practice, I kind of, you know, trash talk to them. You can stop me. I'm, I'm shooting over you. And I, it, was, it was fun. I, I, I didn't realize I was, uh, uh, I, I, I guess I realized I was uh, good enough. I didn't realize I was uh, very good. But uh, I made it is, look easy because uh, I had a good teammates and they helped me make it look easy. Did basketball always come easy or is what we saw here at the university the end result of years and years and years of hard work and play and practice and pushing yourself? It's all about, I guess, uh, practice. Ever since I was uh, a kid, you know, playing with my father. What was easy for me here, that wasn't so easy for me before I got here, is uh, the hard work. Uh, I never used to work so hard as I did in uh, college, running uh, suicides on preseason and having Coach Bear, you know, pushing us and, and really keeping us on, on point. And that very helped. I mean, Coach Bear helped me uh, uh, make it look easier. Do you remember 
When as a kid you fell in love with basketball? I don't remember when I fell in love because I guess I was always playing it. Well, always playing it ever since I was a baby. Uh, my father, you know, just gave me a ball. And I always played basketball since I was a kid. And so I, I always loved it. I, I don't remember falling in love with the game. Well, Massachusetts is an awful long way from home. How did you end up playing college basketball, going to college at uh, UMass Lowell? You know, you always see, uh, you know, college uh, basketball games on TV, on ESPN, the Sports Channel. And it always looked for me um, very attractive. attractive. And I just wanted to be here, you know, uh, mixing up. Uh, school and and, uh, and uh, basketball and just living the American uh, American way of life and so you know it was always uh, uh, the route for me that I wanted to take so uh, I know it's a long way from home but uh, I had some great great friends here and everything was uh, easy after that and we talk about things player of the year the Northeast 10 championships going to the Elite Eight on a couple of occasions. And, and that's the way we as observers kind of remember certain headlines. But are the particular memories that you have that they may very well be player of the year or going to the Elite Eight, but are the particular memories that stand out most for you about the time uh, as a member of this university's basketball team? Yeah, you know, there's uh, certain uh, uh, plays that I remember, uh, uh, last uh, second shots that I made, um, uh, other plays that my teammates made. Uh, Coach Bear made us a, a highlight tape of, uh, you know, the, the last two years the way we were here and that I was here and it's, I just keep watching it sometimes when I you know, get a little uh, frustrated with things and just watch it and it's, it's nice remembering and watching it. When you watch yourself does it does it feel like you or do you want do you look at it and almost feel as though you're watching somebody else? Um, no no I, I, I'm, I'm very aware when I play I'm very into it I'm not, I'm not showing emotions and all but when I play because I'm very quiet just very focused with it with the game so I, I kind of remember everything. What makes a player a good player or what makes a player a great player? I guess what I'm asking is what made you so very very good? The difference between a good player uh, which I, I guess Yes, I am. Was uh, uh, having talent, making a great player, uh, just winning championships, uh, winning ball games. Uh, I was lucky to have a good team with me uh, to help me make be a better player. So we we won the, the tournaments, the the conference, and, and you know the going to the elite eight. That's what made me a great player. I guess my teammates and my uh, you know coaching staff, just the team. That's what make a good player. I remember times running into you around the campus and always seeing you with one of your teammates. Have you been able to keep in touch with those that you played college basketball with, or does time? Make Make it and distance make it all that much more difficult. Uh, you know now nowadays with the, the internet and you know mail, Facebook, it's very easy to keep in touch. Uh, I try to keep in touch with uh, some of the guys. There were uh, Israeli guys that I play with, uh, so it's easy for me when. Everybody's back home in Israel. I keep in touch with those guys. And uh, actually, you know, a couple of guys that played there, uh, Stacy and James, and uh, now they tie. Uh, they, they were in Israel playing professional basketball. So it, it was very nice, you know, hanging out uh, with those guys in my place. I know you played professional basketball for a few years, now playing uh, semi-professional. What was what was that, that post-college basketball life like? Was it what you expected it to be? Was it different? It was completely different. I mean, uh, basketball in Israel, is uh, completely different than it is here in the I mean uh, college level. I played you know a couple of years and I decided that I wanted to go my, another way. Uh, it's not because I really stopped loving the game or anything. I just uh, wanted uh, to do uh, uh, something else. I mean uh, further down my career. So I uh, decided it was a good time for me to uh, stop playing professional and now I just play a little bit of uh, semi-pro uh, basketball every. Uh, couple times a week. When, when you get out and play a couple of times a week, is a lot of that that fire still in the belly? Only when game time comes in and, and the ref uh, blows the whistle. I mean, during practice, uh, I don't I don't used to uh, work as hard as I used to over here. What are you What are you doing for uh, as, as a career path at the moment? I'm, I'm working for a bank in Israel as a foreign exchange uh, trader. It's, uh, it's I like it. It's very similar mm. to uh, the you know the basketball world. It's very intense, very uh, dynamic. It's good. You you got to work with your uh, uh, colleagues all together. So it's it's nice. It's very similar. I suppose I should ask then: Are there lessons one learns on the basketball court? Lessons that you can apply then to to the world of finance? Oh, definitely. Just uh, work hard, prepare, prepare yourself, help out your uh, you know your colleagues, your teammates. Count on them. It's 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 very similar. Basketball is very similar to a lot of uh, uh, aspects in life. Life is good. Life is great. It's always been. Hopefully, it will always be. What do you think the future holds? Uh, I don't know. I don't try to. Look look that far in the future or just uh, try to enjoy the moment. Yeah, you got a big smile on your face, so life is good indeed. Indeed, yeah, I'm just very happy to be here and uh, seeing everybody again and, you know, very uh, appreciated of this uh, award I'm getting.